All right, problem number six on the final exam. The last problem of this whole class will be a centroid and moment of inertia. First, you've got to find the centroid of the cross section. Then we'll find, calculate the moment of inertia about the centroidal axes. All right, uh, so first let's find the centroid. If axes are not drawn on here, then draw your own axes. Uh, you know, I need to know, is your centroid, you're telling me your centroid is here. Are you saying it's measured from the bottom, this many inches from the bottom, this many inches from the top? Uh, I'm going to do from the bottom, and I'll say that's, I'll say here, you know, pretend like this is right down the middle. And so there's my X, there's my Y. So here's X, here's Y. Uh, the centroid is a kind of a weighted average, uh, but um, I kind of like to make this little chart here. I'll break it into sections, find each section's area. Each area is x tilde, multiply x tilde times a, and y tilde, and y tilde, a. Uh, so maybe space these out a little bit. Um, give us some more room. Okay, so I'm going to break this up into four sections. Uh, first, let's look at this triangle right here. And then I will do these two and this one last. So first, this very center triangle. What is its area? Well, it's a rectangle. Every rectangle is base times height, 0.4, height of 4, sorry, 0.5, base of 0.5, height of 4. It's x tilde location. Where is Where on the x-axis is its centroid, right? This x tilde and y tilde is the centroid of that little section. So that section, its centroid is at 0, 0,2, right? 0, 0, 0,2. I'm sorry, let me... See here, yeah, I'm uh, oh, sorry, this was 10. I'm kind of doing this out of order, sorry. Zero, sorry, the, it's 0.5 by 10. All right, base times height, 0.5 by 10. Its location is 0, 0,5, 0, 0,5. And so multiplying this together, I've got zero, and the y tilde together, I've got y tilde a, I've got... Uh, 12 point, oh, sorry, 25, 25 right there. Okay, then let's do these two sections, this one here and this one here. So the area is base times height for both of them. The, this one, its x tilde location would be negative... 1.5 plus half of this, negative 1.75, where this one would be positive 1.75. And their y's, let me see, measured from the bottom, their y's would be, let's see, this is 10, this is 3, so it's 7 just to here, plus 1.5, 8.5, 8.5. So x tilde a, negative 2.63, x tilde a, positive 2.63, y tilde a, 12.75, 12.75. Okay, then the top one, the top one, its base is 4, its height, 0.5, its x tilde would be 0, its y tilde would be 10, and then another 0.25. 10.25. Multiply those together, multiply these together. There we go. All right. Its x bar is going to be x tilde a over summation of a, right? This summation is 10, this summation is 0, this summation is 71. So its x bar is going to be 0 over 10, 0. Now, I should have known that. I should have known that. It is symmetric. I do not mind 
if it is symmetric, if you just go ahead and tell me, oh, well, it, it's got to be somewhere along this dotted line, its x bar is going to be zero. That's fine if you tell me something is symmetric so you can tell me that that component of the centroid. But it's, a, it's, it's good to know that if you don't realize it, the math will also tell it to you. The math will tell you this one is at zero. All right, but then the y, the y bar... Sorry, the y bar is 71 over 10, 7.1 inches, and this is measured from the bottom. 7.1 inches from the bottom. Okay, if you had defined everything from the top, uh, you you would have had a very different numbers here, very different numbers here, and you would have gotten 3.4 inches from the top. All right, but either way. All right, we've got our centroid. We've got our centroid. It is 7.1. It is right, let me draw this in green, right here and right here. All right, these are our X prime and Y prime centroidal axes. Now, let's find the moments of inertia. Now, let's find the moments of inertia. I about this new x prime centroidal axis. All right, so first uh, let me do this long skinny one. Its moment of inertia is 1 12th base times height. All right, it's 1 12th base times height. Now, uh, you don't have to memorize that, although I think you should by now know 1 12th base times height. It is right here. It is a rectangle, and so its moment of inertia is 1 12th base times height. But 1 12th base times height is the moment of inertia about the middle of the rectangle. So that right there, that I just calculated 1 12th base times height, that right there is the moment of inertia about, if this is 10 inches tall, about this line 5 inches tall, right? This line 5 inches in the middle, but I need to take it to the centroidal axis, which is 7.1, from there. So what do I need to do? I need to use parallel axis theorem and add a d squared. Uh, a is rectangle base times height. The distance d is the perpendicular distance from the axis that you have just calculated the centroid, uh, uh, calculated the moment of inertia about to the axis that you want the moment of inertia about. Right? I calculated the moment of inertia about this axis right here. I want the moment of inertia about that axis. This is 5 from the bottom. This is 7.1 from the bottom. I need to move it 2.1. And don't forget to square that. If I was keeping up with my units, then my units would help me remember to square that. That is the parallel axis theorem. The I about the rectangle that you're given, but you need to move it 2.1. So add AD squared. All right, so that is the I just about that rectangle, but I also need to do... The other rectangles, so this one is has a base of 0.5 and a height of 3, so 1 12th B H cubed. Oh man, I forgot to cube it or did that erase there? 1 12th B H cubed. All right, this one should be cubed uh, like that one. Uh, but I need to move it. Uh, this one was right here at... Um, Seven, kind of at 8.5 from the bottom. I need to move it down to 7.1 from the bottom. I need to move it 1.4. Is that what y'all are getting? 1.4 squared. Let's see the area. 0.5 times 3 times 1.4 squared. And that was for one of them. The other one would be exactly the same. Right? It would be the, exactly the same. So I, I can multiply it times 2. And then the final rectangle, rectangle at the very top, 1 12th B H cubed. This is 4 times 0.5 cubed plus the area D. What is the distance D that I need to move it? All right. So this uh, was the moment of inertia about that. I need to move it down 0.25 and then down another uh 2.9 uh so i kind of drew all over this but i need to move it to this axis that is 7.1 from the bottom and mine was the you know the very top is 2.5 is 
10, 10.5, sorry, 10, so 10 point, it was at from 10.25, 10.25 from the bottom to 7.1 from the bottom, 3.15. That what y'all are getting, 3.15 squared. That right there would give me my I, about my centroidal axis, 91.74 inches. I need units. What are the units for moment of inertia, area moment of inertia? Ugh. To the fourth, inches to the fourth. All right, there we go. Now, let's continue and find the I, Y prime. All right, so first of all, that, that long skinny rectangle, the middle, 1 12th HB cubed, right? I kind of switch these, so switch the base and height, 1 12th HB cubed. Now, do I need to move it AD squared? No, that, that was the moment of inertia about that line, and the Y prime is that line, so, so I don't have to move it any AD squared. All right, but what about um, this 1 12th H B cubed of, of these rectangles right here? These, these, sorry, these rectangles. Let me just look at one of them. All right, that is the 1 12th H B cubed. That is the moment of inertia about this line. I need to move it over there. I need to move it 1.75. I need to move it plus A, D, 1.75 squared. All right, that rectangle on the other side would be exactly the same. So I can, I can write this exactly the same, or I can just say times 2. What is the only difference? The only difference is I'm moving that 1.75 now to the left instead of to the right. It doesn't matter, right? We're squaring. It doesn't matter if the area is to the left or to the right. We're squaring that distance D when we're using the parallel axis theorem. All right, now the I about the, the top one, the top rectangle, 1 12th H B cubed, and I don't have to move it don't have to move it. So here I would get I Y prime. Double check me on this. 12.02 inches to the fourth. 12.02 inches to the fourth. So that is first finding the centroid and then finding the moment of inertia about the centroidal axes for that last problem.